talked to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You'll thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor in a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now it doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. I killed someone before all of this. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true, and I'm sorry. He treated you like shit, knew who you were, and you tried to save his life. The last thing you need to do is apologize. Thank you. You killed a guy. So what? I bet he was a dick. Well, it, it ruined my life. Good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? Misery loves company. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I 
killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's, different from everything. This was before the Walkers. A citizen? Yes. I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now. But what? You were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Is Duck safe around you? Of course. Good. But you should know. If we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. <sighs> I appreciate it, though. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Everything keeps changing. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. It's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. What's up, Lee? Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, uh, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just... 
If you hear anything, it's probably true. But now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I... Uh, ben, I... relax. Okay. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my... Well, my thoughts. And I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you in before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, me. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. Cool! gave him ammo if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a head count. Ah, uh, well, don't worry. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. She was all right, though. Well, you're about all she's got left. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't.
You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Doc? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Still the safest place for us. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. 